I'm here to show you how to import an Excel spreadsheet into Access. So to do this, we click on External Data, we go to the Excel, and then we have to browse to find it. Click on Browse, and I have something on my flash drive. I have this broker table here. I say OK. And you have three worksheets here. This is the worksheet that we're going to use. Some of them may be named. We go to the next step. It says first row contains column headings. We have that there. Make sure it shows up there too. We go to the next step. And we would leave this alone here. What I would do here, this is a broker ID and it's going to be a primary key you click here and say yes no duplicates we go to the next step we could it, access wants to add a primary key I click here it's going to the first field here I go to the next step and then let's say I want to call this brokers I click on finish if you're doing a lot of imports you could save the steps we don't need to here I just click on the close I open this up it has everything all done completely here and if I'm going to go in here and work with the design view I just left right click click on design view here it says number here text field we could change the field size make it 25 over here make that let's say 35 and zip code actually is a label so I'll click over here and I would just click on actually text and then I could go into input mask here click over there it's going to prompt me to saving it must save table first say yes some data may be lost don't worry about that unless you're really severely truncating and then I go to zip code and then I say finish um, on here and then I go into the other view here right click data sheet view prompts me to save what it did here because this was entered in as a number you're gonna have to put in the zero in here again um, uh, on here this is a very tricky process if you ever are importing um, and as you can see just going in here is a little bit tricky on there so if you are importing you do have to be a little bit careful but for the most part this worked terrifically here you have the primary key if you have other tables you can create a relationship